What's up guys, Small Beans here with another episode of Beans Are Massive. Start off this episode by buying a centre-back called Lugano. Uh, he's in my formation, 12 contracts, not bad. And he's one of the better centre-backs in the uh, Turkish league. And uh, yeah, I decided to get a, a centre-back before I bought another striker. Uh, but start off this episode with another game against this guy who's got a full bronze team, but he's got quite a good chemistry there. And his players are actually pretty fast. Like you see here, I'm just trying to fight off this guy, but he just overpaced me. It was kind of annoying, and he went through and scored. Uh, but deserved the goal in the 30th minute. He did fully outplay me there. But then I get like a kind of diving weird header there uh, with my centre back to make it one all. And then Niang, you'll you'll see, will get a bit. Of, oh, I've said I say bit of a beast too much. He'll get a really nice goal. Uh, at the, near the end of this episode in the last game there's a spoiler but there Niang gets another one to make it free then Baiki Young just uh, gets the rebound of his head and to make it 4-1 uh, and then just to add insult to injury Niang gets through again and I think I just blast that into the top right corner to make it 5-1 end of the game pretty nice have a few rage quits this episode as well but after that game i went and bought myself a new striker a guy called barros he's got 84 pace 79 shootings um his stats are pretty good and i bought him because niang was actually injured for two games so uh, just to replace him for now because i don't really need to buy uh, have another gold striker yet uh, up front with niang because baiki young is actually pretty good and um, start of this game by Barros getting his first goal, uh, kind of a weird goal, his goalkeeper uh, fucked it up and I ended up just getting a shot there and then Barros actually got injured that game as well, uh, I, my players got a lot, like injured a lot during this series but he manages to pull off a finesse anyway from outside the box to make it 2-0 um, and I think uh, here I just like get a header not a very good goal but simple all left in the 19th minute and then he rage quits straight after that to make it 3-0 three, three because um i don't know rage quitting is kind of annoying like like if i beat someone by lots of coin uh coins uh goals uh it's like well in for sticking it in very long uh, but normally you just get people rage quit it's fifa so it's what happens uh but you see there this guy's got an owen and a barry um no, the two players I probably wouldn't go for uh, if you're starting a Premier League team. And he actually crops me out here. I get a penalty and Barros just scores that easy goal. Um, and uh, this Turkish league was a lot better uh, for starting off with the players that you buy at the beginning are a lot better than the Dutch league. I would seriously recommend it as a starting club to go for. The players aren't that expensive and they're all beasts uh, to say. Uh, just make sure what I did this time instead of the last time I just went for all the players I could buy for the cheapest. This time I'm actually trying to get them in my formation to get my chemistry as high as possible. Um, if I find that the players play a lot better if their chemistry is up uh, to nine, uh, not 99 but like as high as it possible. If they're in the right formation, right position, normally you get a really good, uh, they play really well and their morale is boosted a lot. Uh, you see here I actually bring on... Barros because I got an uh, injury card for Niang like I decided just to get one because um, Young was on like 70 fitness or something so I needed to get another player to play him and this guy's got a f kind of uh, English team he's got quite a few English players in there and uh, I couldn't remember what, I didn't see who that striker was but I started the game with Barros getting through and scoring uh, to make it 1-0 and I think this is another quite decent scoring game Niang makes it 2 in the 16th minute, then Barros gets through, and I, I, the finesse goals are ridiculously easy. I should probably, I, I, this, you'll see later on, I start going for a better goals, and I think I do get a lot, I get one really good goal later on, and one in the series that is, and one good goal later on this episode as well. Uh, but you see there, I just get another goal to make it 5-0 after 30 minutes, and he rage quits, which is not surprising really, I probably should have taken it a bit slower than that, then we're just charging in and scoring all those goals, could have got more points for my contract, um, but then I went and bought myself a keeper and I couldn't actually find one in my contract, there was one but it was like 11 hours time and it wasn't a buy now, it was just a, a current bid and this here is the beast goal, um, bang, overhead kick for Niang, 
pretty insane. It's quite rare to score those. I didn't really realize he had the trait to do it. I actually watched the ce I celebrate and watch the um, replay because I'm I'm quite happy. I know if I like I said if I get a decent goal, I'm gonna watch the replay because that was a pretty nice goal. Um, and the keeper I forgot to mention is a guy called Dimarel. He's not the keepers in the Turkish league. That's the only downside. The keepers aren't that great. He's the best one and he's an 81, so it's not that amazing. Um, but he's the best you can get, and I decided to get him. He had 26 contracts, you may have seen. So, definitely worth a buy. And if as soon as he runs out of contracts later on, I can just switch him around and try and find one with my formation. Uh, but you see there, I had no goals about the 59th minute of the second half. And then I went through and scored a few times. Uh, four times. Five times, in fact. That was a terrible finish there. What was that? Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this Turkish team. I've actually finished as well, so but so thanks for the tips in the comments and stuff. But it's not really helping because I've already finished it. Um, but uh, yes, I will. That's the end of this episode. You see here, got quite a lot of points for that game. Um, and, and the pr pronunciations of this one are still a, a, a bit tricky, but I think I'm getting through easier. Uh, but that was the game, six nil and the end of the episode so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next episode goodbye